Hi guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video, because I've been doing a few videos talking about Bitcoin, why I think it's a good investment, in today's video I'm actually going to tell you why you shouldn't buy or not why you shouldn't buy, you shouldn't buy before watching this video, you know what? I think that's the best way to say it. That's because I don't want to come across the person that is telling you buy this, buy that, you know, just trying to influence people for the wrong reasons. Uh, before we go into this video, I just want to make it clear, I have nothing whether you do buy, whether you don't buy, because I have nothing from it. I don't gain anything whether you buy or not, or believe or not, or against it or not. So that's something I just want to make clear. The reason why I actually do videos of those sorts is because I actually feel great if I can help one person you know whether it's making money or whether it's a car that they want to buy and they want to kind of look at someone with ownership experience to see what experience they had these are the type of videos I like doing after all I like bringing value out of my content most of my videos are educational or some sort of something that you can learn or, or gain something from it and this is more or less the point of my videos I don't make money from these videos guys this is not what I do for a living this is just a thing that I enjoy doing I and mean, if I can help one person I'm happy and the video was all worth it so that's just that I just wanted to put that out there and another thing is I want to say that about two three weeks ago I did a video about Palantir shares um, the, why I thought it's a great buy and for the very few people maybe that bought I can say one thing, they are already a nice profit and I believe there's a lot more upside to go. But this is just another great thing I like doing. I mean, if I help one person make money, I'm happy. I don't have a crystal ball in front of me, so not everything I say is what happens because obviously if everyone can predict anything, I mean, just everything wouldn't work with it. Coming back to the main topic of this video, before you think about buying Bitcoin, if you're new to the space, you should definitely listen to these important points that I personally think is very important if you're thinking to buy or invest. And let's start with the number one thing. The number one thing is people think that some investments are guaranteed. You know, you're guaranteed you'll make money if you buy this. And the truth is, no guys, there's no guarantee with any investment that is a risk. So, you know, there's a big saying, 80% of people trading lose money, right? And I totally agree with that because a lot of people don't really understand what they do. They just believe or hear something and they just jump in it because everyone wants to make money we're all greedy we all i wouldn't say greedy but we all just want to make money right so a risk so understand the risk and now not only that let's say you want to invest a thousand dollars in bitcoin let's just keep it simple examples like this let's say you want to invest a thousand dollars in bitcoin before you even think about it this thousand dollars Think about it this way, if you lose it, if your thousand dollars you invested goes to zero, right? Not that I believe it will happen, but if it does, would that change your life circumstances, like your financial situation? Would you be broke if you lose a thousand dollars? Are you relying on this a thousand dollars to pay rent or mortgage or anything like that? Before you do that, think about that, because if the answer is yes, then you should not be putting in that a thousand dollars if you need that $1,000 for a month time to pay your rent or your mortgage, it's a bad idea. Do not invest money if you need that money. So that's rule number one. Guys, the risk factor, understand the risk. So do not put money that you cannot afford losing or invest money that you cannot afford losing. Now, number two. Number two is a very important thing as well. And I've mentioned it in the past, but I think many people are confused here. There's a difference between trading and hodling or investing the difference is trading is leverage so you go to an exchange with leverage so let's say if you if you want to buy now let's a thousand dollars worth of bitcoin trading you can you can put down maybe um two hundred dollars and you will have leverage to buy a thousand dollars worth of bitcoin however if the price dips if the if the price drops you will be liquidated that's because you borrowed leverage However, guys, if the price drops, that means you are leveraged. So you can easily get liquidated and end up losing your $200 that you initially invested. So that's very important. Do not leverage trade if you are unexperienced or a beginner because 90% of people that do leverage trading lose a lot or in fact everything. And I can tell you from my own experience, when I started doing this stuff, 
about four or five years ago the first time I just jumped into it I didn't really know what I was doing I was getting excited because I did start off making some nice gains and after all I ended up losing a lot of money more than I could afford to lose at that time and it really really put me down for a while so I'm telling you guys do not leverage trade if you want to invest you want to buy and hold so for example where do you buy and hold i've mentioned this before An exchange i would recommend if you want to buy bitcoin or ethereum use swissberg this is one of the best exchanges i've used i used to use coinbase now honestly guys coinbase is terrible i would not recommend you buying bitcoin on coinbase not because it's not a safe exchange it's a very safe exchange however they got terrible customer service if you ever need to get hold of them for any reason there's no one to get hold of and another thing is Whenever there's high volatility, like if the price is going crazy or dropping crazy, the site always crashes. So a lot of people end up want to sell their Bitcoin for a high for a big profit because the price went crazy. They can't sell it because Coinbase site, as usual, crashes down. And the time they get it back up, the price has changed already. So, guys, I recommend Swissberg and. The link to Swissbeck is in the description of this video. And by signing up through my link, through my referral link, you guys will get a bonus and so will I. So if you want to do so, I really appreciate it. Thank you. If you don't, I totally understand. Just give this video a like. That's all. Okay. I'm not asking for anything else. So that's the important points between trading and hodling. So as I said, do not leverage trade unless you're experienced trader. And to be an experienced trader takes many years, guys. So please. You don't want to lose your money you want to make money now another important thing is and i've mentioned this before but i i get i feel like sometimes i just need to repeat things because a lot of times people come to me with these comments or questions as i said at the start of this video my whole purpose is to help people not to get people losing money because unfortunately today we got so many youtubers and our youtubers out there telling all these people go trade with this link here and you'll make tons of money and i'll be honest with you guys most people who watch those videos are beginners and they get excited because they see this youtuber showing massive gains and they end up losing their money and what happens is the youtuber gets a massive commission from these leverage exchanges and please don't be that type of person that you see this on online and like jump into it okay but the important thing is also why i keep on repeating myself is people need to understand timing for the investment so let me break this down earlier on this year i was telling you guys why i thought bitcoin was a good time to buy and that was in july i believe the 17th of july you can check it out on my youtube channel go back you'll see that video i was telling you guys why i thought at that time it was a great time to buy bitcoin and i think bitcoin was at around seven thousand dollars that time or maybe a bit more maybe maybe eight thousand i can't remember the exact amount and obviously now we went up to $24,000 a couple of days ago. We had a little bit of a dip, but timing, timing is important. Don't be that person that buys when the price has gone crazy and you want to FOMO in, fear of missing out. So you don't want to miss out, you want to jump in. You want to be the smart money, the smart investor, not the dumb investor that jumps in because the price has gone crazy and you don't want to miss out because I would say, 60 70 percent of those type of people or probably even more lose money not make money the smart money is the one who invests early in the right time and timing also if you think you will make quick gains within a week or two you shouldn't be doing it guys this is a long-term strategy this is not a short-term thing you know yes you can make uh, uh, short-term gains because volatility is very high with the cryptocurrency but generally you want this to be a longer or mid-term investment not a short-term investment and it comes back down to something i said before if you know you need these funds very soon you should not be investing it in the first place and this one here is very important too panic selling a lot of people panic sell you know until two days ago from me doing this video every single person who bought bitcoin until then was in profit because we've passed the all-time high so no one could have paid a higher amount for bitcoin however the only people who did lose even though bitcoin was an all-time high over twenty-four thousand dollars, there were people that lost money you know who the ones who panic sell at a at a loss because let's say someone bought bitcoin at fifteen thousand, 
and the price dropped to 13,000 and they panic sold because they thought oh no Bitcoin is gonna go now to 10 it's gonna go to 5 let me jump out at least take a smaller loss and not a big loss now in some fairness I understand the stress and all of that but guys it's about patience patience is the key to making money with investments and trading it's not you know it's not for the faint-hearted if you can't be calm and, and you're gonna be stressed if the price drops a little bit you shouldn't be buying it it's not for you guys I'm just telling you my honest opinion I mean by the way guys this is not a financial advice this is just my opinions you should do whatever you think is good for you but this is just my opinions through my experience so patience is the key don't end up panic selling because I mean if you look back in history Bitcoin has only gone up and up and up now I'm not saying history will repeat itself however you know it's just something you have to think about too so guys i think this is like my main advice before buying bitcoin you should consider all those things because oh and just one more thing i want to mention is as well guys there's so many cryptocurrencies out there i'm going to be realistic 95 percent or maybe 90 percent of them are cuckoo kiku cuckoo coins or whatever you want to call them they just come out with a with a different name every day in a different crypto like we had sushi gains pizza gate uh, crypto sushi coin and all of that now just don't be stupid don't jump into all these coins because i would say 90 percent of them have a little pump and then they dump back and they're never going to come back up again okay and a lot of people look at the charts and say oh this coin was once five dollars a piece and now it's 20 cents i'm gonna buy loads of them because this is gonna go back to five dollars guys that doesn't happen 95 percent of them don't go back to the all-time side because they have no fundamental value so understand the project you invest in i'm not gonna lie guys sometimes i do um trade other coins other than bitcoin but it's just for short-term swings because i kind of know what's going on but if you're a beginner and think these coins are going to make you the it's going to be the next big thing you know out of let's say 1000 coins there's one of them that might do it for very short term but how do you know that's the one you're just taking a gamble you might as well go to a casino don't you know uh, wait you know just go to a casino put a red or black it's the same thing so this is just my opinion guys so guys i know i'm ranting a bit but honestly guys i just want the best for you i don't want anyone to lose money because losing money is a horrible feeling um, i know money is just money it's not like everything in life but if you have hard-earned money you don't want to lose it so guys this is just my thoughts and again if you want to support this channel just give me a like on this video subscribe if you haven't done so yet and um, if you do want to buy bitcoin or ethereum or some other crypto as i said don't go through coinbase use swissberg it's much faster much more reliable and better fees as well guys coinbase is extremely high with fees so that's the exchange i would recommend that's the exchange i use and the link is in the description no this is not sponsored this is simply a referral link i'm being straight transparent if you go through my link i get a little very small amount like a few dollars and not only that it does help you as well so thanks guys for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye now